have been here too, so we really we can understand. Our that. friend Brian did a little research and found a bicycle trail that wrapped around a mountain that was sticking up to the extreme west end there of Lake Mead. So you can see that if we could endure the hills of this trail, we would have great scenery and eventually we'd be able to look down on Lake Mead. Now to do this, we rented electric bikes and you can see that there's a high Norm and Ocano range. Ocano, your batteries will last way long. Norm, your batteries will last a normal amount and high, you'll be using them up pretty quickly. So we rented two batteries each, not knowing what we'd use. We rented these bikes from River Mountains Bicycle uh, Shop that was on the trail where the arrow showed previously. And the guy that owned it was a great guy. He got us all set up with the equipment and I gotta tell you, the bikes seemed like they were brand new and operated flawlessly. Now, we almost didn't go on this trail when we looked at the many YouTube videos that showed how hilly the terrain was, but then we would have missed out on what you're looking at right now. I can't tell you what a bad decision that would have been for us. Now, we do a lot of biking, but we don't have the Lance Armstrong jerseys on, and we're not going 17 miles an hour on a straightaway. We're typically puttering along at 9 or 10 miles an hour with our recumbents. Nonetheless, we drive thousands of miles of year on our bicycle. But I can tell you that it was the right way to go renting electric bikes for this particular trail. Well, I'm going on a bike ride with our friends We're already back. from Wisconsin <laughs> and I'm a little slower than them because I had lots of stuff to get ready like microphones and cameras and GoPros and everything else. But we're going to hit the trail. We have two batteries so we shouldn't run out. Plus we're accomplished bicyclists as you all know from all the different uh, times. So, Are you guys on Eco or are you on Norm? Yeah. That Norm just seemed to be doing it all. You heard it right, that norm just seemed to be doing it all. You can see by the speedometer that we're going about 19 miles, 20 miles an hour. Certainly not up the hills, but the assist was just magical. You were getting enough exercise that you didn't feel guilty that you had electric, but it just took the pleasure and elevated it. Here you can see that we're taking a little time to do some nonsense and get some selfies that are very important to take along the way. And before you knew it, you were jumping back on the bike. This was one of the great straightaways we were on. And you can see from the speedometer that we're going 25 miles an hour along that one. Lots and lots of tunnels as we went under roadways and different sections of the path. What didn't come across on the camera, unfortunately, was how cool it looked to see the switchbacks you were coming up to and then as you would turn down into them. And uh, I apologize for not getting those, but it just didn't come through on the cameras. But certainly all these vistas did and we took as much advantage as we could staring at them all. We're on electric bikes and yet hot. we're getting hot and we are pedaling and I've actually been winded a couple of times so I'm trying to stay in the correct electric mode and even Linda here who's pretty <laughs> trim and swims and everything and uh, did you say that you had shifted from Econo to normal? I did, yes indeed. Ah. Econo, yes. What do you think of this bike trail so far? It's one of the neatest trails we've ever been on. Alright, well let's see if we can get it to be better. And it's good that we're even, doing it. Even with, with the love of my life's helmet on, crooked like she's cute. Yeah, you know, I know. That's, that's how you wear it. Mark yeah. tells me that all the time. Your helmet's crooked. It's like, whatever. Yeah. It feels right, fine. Well, <laughs> you get, who's the love of your life, honey? Well, 
Let's see. Let me think about that. Oh, oh get back to me is. on that. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. What do you think of this, Mark? It's great. And I'm thinking that what we saw here is just a taste because once we get close to the Lake Mead and we're able to look down at it, it's going to blow us away. So the mountains, the sky, the water, it all looks fake. It looks like it's drawn in and painted by a very professional artist. These are the exact words from the two women that I'm with today. We have once again our friend Linda from Wisconsin and my wonderful wife Sue from everywhere. From everywhere. Right. Visitor center is not too far. I don't know how far, but the map says it's maybe about a half inch. <laughs> So that's close. So we only have a half inch yet to go and uh, we'll do that. So we plan to eat our lunch at the visitor center which is a little bit before the halfway point and you'll want to make sure that you pack something because there are virtually no restaurants along the way until you get to Boulder City which is the halfway point. We pulled out our Subway sandwich and snacks that we packed and just enjoyed the view and smelling the air. What are you doing there? Checking my GoPro. Well, you look pretty fancy with that outfit on there. I think I ran out of battery again. Uh-oh, ran out of battery. Just a quick look here. Wow, look at how beautiful it is. This is... Uh, taking the bike ride around Lake Mead. Okay, so we just came out of the bike trail that we're following around Lake Mead, and this is a very different and very odd, but very logical. This is a beautiful waterway, kind of a canal to divert water, and this state knows that you're smart enough, hopefully, not to ride in it when the water's coming down 90 miles an hour. But in the meantime, you get this multi-purpose uh, path here. So uh, what do you say, Sue, that we uh, just proceed? Turn around. Why? We've got a, a tunnel ahead of us, and there you, can, there you can see Linda and Brian waiting. Oh yeah, they're waiting on us. Let's get going. So we're documenting the boys had to change the batteries and the girls did not. How many miles you got left there on yours, Linda? I have four miles left. Four miles left. She's winning. All right, so we have batteries on, extra batteries for our bikes, and it's actually the guys had to switch out already. Oh, so this but, is the battery down here, right here, this unit here. And the control here tells everything you need to know. Is that correct? Yes. Let's flip through. Look at that. She's got four miles left on the battery. The first battery. She went 30 miles. Tom. First battery. Wow. First oh, yeah, battery. That's 30 miles. Yeah. yeah. 30 miles. So uh, would you like to uh, interview me? So now you owe me. I have to. So I two batteries. Would have done it. <laughs> I, uh, I unfortunately exhausted my battery at the, exactly the 50% point and uh, you wow, can tell if you look at Linda and you look at me I'm 50% fatter and certainly <laughs> much certainly much more uglier taking so, up that battery power. yeah check check out here we have the tall tower is the stratosphere that's on the right and if you go all the way to the left you can see a pyramid and that's Excalibur and our RV park actually that we're in, if you follow from Stratosphere to Excalibur as a straight line, you could just go this way about, I don't know, three or four miles and that's right where about we are. There. Yep. Going 30 
25 miles an hour. What? <laughs> I got up to 29. Alright, it didn't come up that one 20 miles an hour. Woo, that was a steep one. This trail is one of the most unusual and spectacular bike trails we have ever been on in our two years of travel. You need to plan this trip in when you visit the Las Vegas area and rent e-bikes if you do not already ride with spandex team jerseys on at least three times a week. Otherwise, you will not make it around this trail. Thanks for stopping by to give us a peek. Please give us a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on next Sunday's 6 a.m. installment. We will be wrapping up our Las Vegas series when we finally hit the strip with three of our visiting friends from Wisconsin. And God only knows how that's going to end up with this crew. Whoo boy.